Welcome to the Orchard of Faith here in Marion, Louisiana. Uh, May halls are a native fruit to the Ouachita River bottoms. Uh, they grow mainly in the river bottoms. And when we moved here in 1990, we were introduced to it. Uh, jelly is, to my opinion, the best jelly in the world. And uh, it's growing in popularity. Our markets are growing. And in 2000, we had bad frost in the river bottoms and didn't get any mayhaws. Found out that you could plant them, and there were different varieties that you could use that would bloom later, different types of mayhaws, when they come off, um, what size they are, all types of things. There's hundreds of species of mayhaws. They're a, of the hawthorn plant. And they make, uh, people make jellies, make syrup, uh, duck glaze uh, in restaurants, cakes, pies, anything you can imagine, even salad dressing out of Mayhaws. In 2000, and in the year 2000, uh, we planted this orchard. We put 600 trees out here, they're irrigated, and we uh, have a crop every year. We've got late blooming varieties, early blooming varieties, uh, all sorts, and uh, we sell them at the Mayhaw Festival, which is now in its 30th year here in Marion, the oldest Mayhaw Festival there is. And uh, we'd invite you to come down to the Mayhaw Festival. It's always Mother's Day weekend. People around here pick their Mayhaws in a boat because the river would be up, the Mayhaws would be floating. We did that for years. We didn't realize they'd grow on top of a hill like we are in, uh, like we are now, but they will. There's a lot of people who's never tasted Mayhaw jelly, and we're going to have tasting this year. Uh, we'll have some uh, biscuits or some toast or something for you to taste it. But uh, to buy Mayhaws, buy the Mayhaw jelly. You see the process of it. Uh, if nothing else, that's that'll be worth a while. Today we're going to make Mayhaw jelly, and to get the best Mayhaws. And the best Mayhaw jelly that you can get, you need to come to Marion to the Louisiana Mayhaw Festival we have every year. And these are some of the Mayhaws we have. We start with taking a gallon of Mayhaws, you wash them, and then you're going to put them into the steamer juicer. And it's going to steam the, may the juice out of the Mayhaws for you. And you're going to pour them in the top. After you get all your berries into your juicer, you put the lid on it and you have the bottom full of water and it'll steam for about an hour and a half and then your juice comes out here and then you're ready to make jelly. We have finished steaming the mayhaws and now we're going to drain the juice out and get ready to make our mayhaw jelly. And we're going to have about four cups. The mayhaw juice is in here and it's, um, it's a real sour juice. The berries are, are real sour. They're not sweet like plums or apples or grapes. And so we're going to put this in our pan and we're going to add about five cups of sugar to the juice to make the jelly. And now we're going to pour our juice into our, our cooking pot. And we're going to turn the heat on and let it start getting hot. Okay, and while I'm waiting on the juice to get hot, I usually put like one, just a little dab of butter and put it in here. And it keeps the jelly from foaming up so much when you're cooking it. But it doesn't take long once it gets started. I'm fixing to put the pectin into the juice. And this is the process that makes your jelly get firm when you get when you put it in the jars and you're going to cook this until it comes to a rolling boil and then you'll add your sugar after you bring it to a rolling boil then you're going to add your sugar and it's five and a half cups of sugar and you want to keep stirring this and get it mixed up as quickly as you can and then it's going to come back to a rolling boil and then you're going to boil it for two minutes after that. And after you cook it for two minutes, you're going to pour it up into your jars. And these are Canon jelly jars that you buy just for jelly and Canon. 
and um, you're going to pour it into each jar up to about a quarter of an inch from the top. And also, a couple of years ago, the legislature um, said that the Mayhaw jelly is the Louisiana state jelly now. We've cleaned the rims off of the jelly, so there's no jelly on the jar. And then we're going to put the lids that you've kept hot on the jars. And then you're going to take your uh, bands and you're going to tighten them up on the jars and seal them. The best part of this is when you get to open the jar and you get to eat it on some of your favorite foods. Most people like to eat it on biscuits for breakfast and uh, or breads and some people cook it in pies. Oops. And some people put mayhaw juice in their cakes. You can make ice cream. You can make all sort of uh, products with mayhaws. Now let's taste it and see how good it is. And it's one of the best jellies you'll ever have. Mayhaw jelly is, uh, has a distinct flavor and you just can't get it everywhere. Growing up, that's, I didn't even know there was any other jelly growing up. We never bought jelly in the store. We always just had it at home and made it. My grandmother um, started making it many, many years ago and taught my mom how to do it. And so it's just kind of been passed down and it's just, it's just good. <laughs> the Mary and JC started the festival. Uh, we were just, we didn't have a festival. We wanted to start something that uh, when you said its name, you thought of Marion. When you said Marion, you thought of the festival. And actually, a business owner came up. We were trying to find something that was unique for this area. One of our business owners uh, came up with the idea, said, what about Mayhalls? There's not a lot of Mayhalls around. People don't know what they are. And they grew wild here in the river bottom, and uh, that's the way it caught on. That's the way we started 30 years ago. And how has the festival grown over the years? It's grown a good bit, uh, especially with activities and uh, the people that come in, but it's really, it's Mother's Day weekend, so really it's turned into a, uh, we have a lot of people from out of town, but we have a lot of people who come back to visit, uh, come back to town and visit their moms, of course, and uh, it's just a good weekend for that. That's, that's the way it's done the best. Tell us uh, what's going to be at the festival. Uh, we always have a street dance on Friday night. It's a Friday and Saturday festival. Uh, we start out with a street dance. We have it in the bank parking lot, Marion State Bank parking lot. Then the festival is, uh, it, we have everything, arts and crafts, uh, uh, all kind of things, especially a lot of, it's a lot of good things to pick up for your mom. But we have a lot of jelly. Uh, we have trees. You can buy the Mayhaw trees. We have a lot of activities for the kids uh, from tricycle races, lawnmower races, bicycle races, uh, all kind of games for them. So just regular festival stuff. Uh, a lot of entertainment during the day, just a just good time. I have been involved with this festival pretty much all the 30 years in one way or another, either through my parents or through us just, um, you know, running booths or helping with the pageant or helping make jelly or uh, just about everything that goes along with it. It's a family-oriented festival. There's uh, nothing there that a family can't be a part of. It's uh, just a good time had by all. Uh, great food, uh, great music, uh, we have local talent, that, uh, and then we have turkey calling contests, just anything that a country festival uh, could offer, we offer that. Everybody should try Mayhaw Jelly because it's, it has a flavor that you're not going to find anywhere else.